Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation. Today, we're going to show a little love to the Hawk. My boy, man, my boy. I still don't really care for this uni, but eh, it is what it is. By the way, guys, I might throw out a couple little spoilers from the Endgame movie. Uh, it's been out for a while now, guys. It's all good, man. You know, bring out the spoilers in the comments if you want. I mean, it's been long enough, so I might mention a few things from the movie that has to do with the Hulk or maybe something else. So let's get into the Hulk here and let's take a look at his build. He has 27,000 physical attack. He has 127 attack speed, max crit rate, 168 critical damage, max ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. He also has 60% dodge. He has all 5 star Urus. His first, third, and fourth gear are at 25. His second gear is at 20. All of his skills are at 6. He has a stage 6 Power of a Hangry Hawk set. And he has a CTP of Rage. I thought this was only suiting for old boy. <clears throat> and he has a Mythic Uni. Now guys, I want to just say something right now. I really enjoyed the in-game movie. I, th I thought I had a lot of fun. I laughed a lot. Uh, you know, shed a little tears. I mean, it, it was a good movie. But it does have problems, guys. And one of the problems that it has is the way they treated the Hulk. Uh, that guy that I saw in that movie, that was not the Hulk. That was Bruce Banner. That, that I don't know who, they, they just, just a big green guy that's smart. Because we didn't see any smashing whatsoever. Nothing. I was pretty bummed out. So let's do some smashing and take on GBR. And then let's take on who he should have got to fight at least a little bit in the movie. And that's good old Thanos. So let's rock and roll. So I don't know how you guys felt, but I was really bummed out that the Hulk didn't do really any fighting. I mean... That kind of sucked, man. By the way, we're running with uh, Nick Fury for his 50% all attack uh, leadership and that 55% damage dealt to super villains. And we're using Wasp for that debuff in hopes that I don't kill anybody, uh, get mind control to kill anybody, or anybody kill us. And you see the team we got run with uh, Shirog, Human Torch, and Spider Man, all tier 2, so no debuff. Nice. And then we have a uh, tier 3 Thor with Valkyrie and freaking Nick Fury. So that guy ought to be putting out some serious damage. Hopefully he doesn't kill us if he gets mind controlled. Because if he does get mind controlled, I'm pretty sure the God of Thunder is going to strike down the old hog. But this is what we should have seen more of in the movie, guys. Like, look, man. I actually, the foot, the screwy thing was, I was actually enjoying Professor Hawk. I really liked him for a while. I was having fun with it. It was funny. I was enjoying it. But even, I mean, even in the big battle in the end of the movie, he doesn't do anything. Nothing. Zero. I mean, like, like a quick little glimpse of him. It's like, what the hell? Like, I, after what happened to him in Infinity War, when Thanos beat the crap out of him, I really thought that Hawk would hopefully get some kind of redemption, but he didn't get anything. I mean, look, guys. Personally, I felt like the MCU completely crapped all over him. I was pissed. And I really think they crapped on Thor, too, to be honest, you guys. I, I wasn't happy with the way either one of those characters were treated. The other characters, I thought were treated beautifully. But, you know, Captain America and Iron Man, Black Widow, uh, Hawkeye. I mean, those characters were treated well. You know, Captain America and Iron Man were treated amazing. But Hulk and... I mean, Thor, too, they just, oh, my God, they crapped all over him. That's just my opinion, you know. Let me know what you guys think, you know. Were you happy with what you saw? You know, personally, I didn't want to be laughing at Thor, and I didn't really, I wanted Hawk to smash. You know, the moment where, you know, Bruce Banner finds out that Natalie, Natasha, dies, you know, Black Widow, he doesn't get angry or nothing. I was really hoping at that point he was going to get pissed off, you know, when, when she died in the movie, I thought, okay, now the Hulk's going to get freaking pissed and he's going to tear some crap up. But no! He's just like, oh, I miss her. What? What? That's not the Hulk. And I realize this is a whole Elseworlds story, but that's not the Hulk. 
I mean, good lord. I, I mean, man, as a Hulk fan, I was just, oh, it just totally bummed me out. And again, the same with Thor, guys. I was, man, all you Thor fans out there, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I would be pissed if I saw that crap and I was a Thor fan. But that's just me, guys. That's just me. You know, I just, I don't know, man. I wasn't happy with it. This is what we should have saw. What we're seeing in this game, pounding, smashing, freaking taking it to the old villain. That's what we should have seen. This is what we should have. This is, this is the good stuff right here. Oh, my God. But anyways, guys, you know, sorry if I'm ranting a little bit. You know, I, I just really bummed out about the way Hulk and Thor were, was treated. I, I didn't like it, guys. I didn't really want to see a fat Thor. And and I did laugh at it. I'm not going to lie. I did laugh at it. But, but as I was watching the movie, I was just like, okay, this is old. You know, I... You know, and honestly, I really felt like they depowered Hulk and Thor big time. They nerfed the crap out of both those characters. It just, I don't know, guys. I was bummed, man. I was bummed. But again, let me know what you guys think um, about the way the Hulk and Thor was treated or any character was treated in the movie. If you didn't like what you saw or you did like what you saw. You know, let me know, guys. All right, so take a look at this time, guys. So Thor whipped my butt. There's no surprise there. We did 36% of the damage. Eh, not too bad. He could probably do this by himself. So let's take him against Thanos. Now we're going to be running with a little bit different team. We're still using Nick Fury. But we're going to be using Warwolf also. Because in Warwolf's Tier 2 passive, he gives 30% critical damage to Hulk. And he gives 20% guaranteed critical rate to Hulk as well. Which will really synergize with Hulk's CTP of Rage. Uh, having that extra crit rate will give the an extra chance of uh, doing a critical hit and the way the CTP of Rage works is you have a 20% chance of doing a critical attack that the Rage will proc. So if you have an extra chance of procking, you're going to be able to do, you know, hopefully do more damage because your damage proc will proc more often. And this is what we should have seen guys right here. This is what we should have seen. Hulk just pounding. Now, I didn't really want him to beat up Thanos. I didn't want that at all. Just, you know, screw that. But I wanted him to at least get some Lex in. A little redemption. And But something that is pretty cool, Net Marble, I mean, I got to give him a little credit here. That three skill that he's got is freaking awesome. It is so fun. I'm having a ball with that thing, man. I love how he just grabs a hold of him with one hand and he just pounds on him with the other hand. Look at that. <laughs> He's just hitting in midair, but whatever. It's so cool. And in the first uh, two phases, guys, we're going to use both the attack buffs and stack on top of them. You see me do it once, and we're going to do it again right here. We're going to hit Nick Fury's attack buff here, that five. We're going to switch to Warwolf. We're going to hit Warwolf's five. And then boom. Now watch all this damage we do. Look at all that freaking damage. <laughs> Damage. Oh my god, freaking Hulk is awesome. This is how he should be all the time. But it is what it is, man. And also, guys, if you're running Hulk against Thanos, it's a real good idea to turn your SFX animation off. Because when you're doing that 5 skill, it's nice to see what Thanos is doing, you know. In the later phases, when Thanos starts bringing the rain and you don't see it, you'll die. So it's best to turn the SFX animation off. Now we're just going to use Warwolf's attack buff. Uh, one reason is because his attack buff lasts for 15 seconds, whereas Nick Fury's only lasts for 10 seconds. There we go. And I'm also doing it because if I use both their attack buffs, they'll both be on cooldown. And if Thanos goes and you know throws the rain or throws down a bunch of purple, I'm going to need to be able to switch my character. And if both of my other characters are on cooldowns, well, then I can't switch and Hawk will die. So it's always best to have one character for fodder, just in case. Just in case. Yeah, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. You can't hide from me. Oh. I'm going to switch to Warwolf here. There we go. The Warwolf, you know. I mean, guys, I don't have him built worth a crap at all. I mean, he's like nothing. Ah, freaking message. He's, he's not built at all. I use him strictly as a support. We're going to hit that five and watch and watch. Oh, yeah. Where's my proc, man? Oh, you freaking punk. 
There, there, yeah, there's that three, guys. Look at that. That's so awesome. Freaking ignoring that iframe. I love it. That is so cool. So awesome. Whoa, whoa, switch, switch. Ah, crap, I'd have died right there. Yeah, something about Hawk, though, man. I mentioned this before in previous videos. His defenses just aren't that good, guys. He cannot absorb those that purple attack. He cannot absorb it. At least mine can't. He, he'll die, man. He cannot take it. Which is kind of effed up, you know. Uh, Hawk should be... I mean, he should have more durability than that, but whatever, you know. Maybe sometimes, sometimes I wonder if I just expect too much for him, you know, because I'm such a hardcore fan. Maybe I expect too much, but, you know, in all honesty, guys, I want all the characters in the game to be awesome. I mean, I mean, really, I do. I don't want them to all be OP as hell, but some characters like the Hulk, who's done so much for Marvel Comics, uh, he should be. He should be. Whoa, 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 whoa. God dang it, man. Freaking purple. Ah. Okay. There we go. And we're going to switch. Yeah, get that buff. Get him. And you guys can see, man, he can definitely do stage 20. You know, no strikers. But this is a well-built Hulk, and I have a, you know, a 410 raid level. So, honestly, I think he should be stronger. But the uni stilts, in my opinion, is well worth it. It makes them way better. The Thor Ragnarok uni, there's no way in hell it could do this. And there's no way in hell that Ragnarok uni could do GBR. Ain't no way, guys. No way. So there you have it, you guys. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about how the Hulk and, and Thor were treated in the movies and anybody else. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, why you liked it, why you didn't like it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.